DC resistive linear circuits. Hello everyone, my name is Rafael. I am an electrical engineer. And in this video, I would like to invite you to see the solution of three DC resistive linear circuits. I am going to read the exercises and show you step by step the solution. Let's go to the first. For the circuit of the figure, find the voltage across the resistor of 10 ohms and the current passing through it. Okay, my friends, let's go to the solution of the first exercise. Assuming that the upper bus is at a higher potential than the lower bus, assuming that the upper bus is of higher potential than the lower bus, you're gonna call this the voltage. V. Else, we're gonna call V divided by 5 ohms I1. And we're gonna call V divided by 10 ohms I2. And we're gonna call V divided by 2 ohms I3. And we're gonna call V divided by 1 ohm I4. Okay? We can assume that 10 amperes is going upwards and the other currents are going downwards. Then we can say 10 amperes is going to be equal to I1 plus I2 plus I3 plus I4 plus 5 amperes. We know how to express these currents in terms of V and the resistances, okay? Then we're going to do just that. 10 amperes will be equal to V times 1 over 5 ohms plus 1 over 10 ohms plus 1 over 2 ohms plus 1 over 1 ohm plus 5 amperes. We can pass these 5 amperes to this side and 10 amperes minus 5 amperes, 5 amperes. Okay, now if we pass 10 multiplying and 18 dividing, we get 2.78 this is the value of the voltage, 2.78 volts. Now let's calculate the current, the current I2 that passes here 
through the resistor of 10 ohms. I2 is going to be 10 ohms. I2 is going to be the voltage V, 2.78 volts divided by 10 ohms, which is equal to 0 0.278 amperes. Okay? These are the responses of exercise number one. The voltage and the current that passes through the resistance of 10 ohms. Okay, my friends, let's go now to exercise number two. Now, exercise number two. Find the voltage across the resistor of 30 ohms for the circuit of the figure. To solve this exercise, I'm going to call here V1 and here V2, okay? And uh, if we apply KCL at node 1 and node 2, we get the solution. One hundred volts minus V1 divided by 20 ohms is equal to V1 divided by 20 ohms plus V1 minus V2 divided by 10 ohms. Okay? This is the first expression, the expression for node 1. Now let's go and do the same for node 2. V1 minus V2 divided by 10 ohms is equal to V2 divided by 30 ohms plus V2 divided by 30 ohms. We are going to operate on these expressions and simplify them to find V1 in terms of V2. Okay, the first expression can be rewritten as 100 volts equal to 4 times V1 minus 2 times V2. And if you operate on the second expression, you're going to find 3 times V1 is equal to 5 times V2. We are going to use this here and find the value of the voltage. Okay? We know that V1 is equal to 5 over 3 times V2 and we are going to use this here okay and we get that 100 volts is going to be equal to 4 times 5 over 3 times V2 minus 2 times V2 Consequently, we find the solution as V2 equal to 21.4V. The engineering here is to understand the first and the second equations for node 1 and node 2. The rest is simply algebraic manipulations, okay? This is the solution of exercise number two. Now let's go to exercise number three. Now let's go to the third exercise. 
If the voltage drop across the diode is 0.7 volts, determine the current ID for the following circuit. Okay, let's go to the solution. But before going to the solution, we must bear in mind that as the diode is a nonlinear element, superposition may not be used. Therefore, we are not going to use superposition. We are going to use Thevenin. Applying Thevenin at both sides of the diode, we get. We are going to break the circuit here and here and apply Thevenins. Okay, uh, we're going to have this, and this will be the Thevenin's voltage. The Thevenin's voltage, we are going to apply a voltage divider ruler here, and we're going to get VTH will be equal to 4 divided by 4 plus 4 times 10 volts. And this is equal to 5 volts. And the Thevenin's resistance, we simply short circuit this, and it's going to be a parallel connection of two resistors. All right? The equivalent resistance is going to be 4 times 4 divided by 4 plus 4, which is equal to 2 ohms. Okay, now let's do the same for the second part, we're going to have something like this, okay. This is this part of the circuit. The Thevenin voltage is going to be 2 amperes times 1 ohm, 2 volts. And the equivalent resistance, the Thevenin resistance, is going to be 1 ohm. With these values, we can remodel the topology of this circuit. This is going to be Okay, now we can calculate the current. ID is going to be 5 volts is going to be equal to ID times 2 ohms plus 1 ohm plus 0 0.7 volts plus 2 volts, okay? It 
if we carry out this algebraic uh, manipulation, we find that ID is 0 0.76 amperes. All right, my friends, this is the video that I wanted to make. I hope you guys liked it and learned from it. I am a teacher. If you want to book a lesson with me, use my WhatsApp number, guys. Goodbye!